Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Um, I really don't know how the sound is going to come across in this one. I'm actually at my office right now. Uh, it's a little bit later, um, so everyone's already gone for the day, which I would hope so, seeing as how it is uh, currently 9 p.m. I'm the only crazy person uh, here that actually works this late. I actually just came back in. Uh, I needed to get some uh, paperwork, so that's why I'm here. Um, but I figured while I was here, I would uh, bring the camera along so I could show you one of my uh, earlier projects. Uh, this tree razor box. Uh, that, that's really all it is. Uh, it's nothing, nothing incredibly fancy. Um, I'll put some uh, pictures of the SketchUp model I did for it, uh, just because it's not like I can film the construction portion of it. Uh, but I did put this together about... Um, three years ago. Uh, basically this was just too low uh, to the ground. Like, this is about two feet uh, between here and there. And then uh, this, uh, we wanted to be able to actually sit under the tree, but the foliage is actually fairly low, so uh, it kind of just took up this whole corner and made it, um, it made this area kind of inhospitable. Uh, so my boss actually asked me to put, uh, or did he ask or did I offer? I think they talked about it and then I offered to build it. Uh, but really all it is is a couple 4x4 four four posts uh, and then some 2x4 uh, bracing uh, to go... No, sorry. It is a couple 4x4 four four posts. There is a 2x4 four two four shell around it. And then connecting that I have 2x4 uh, bracing all the way through it. And I think there's a row one, two, three. Uh, you'll be able to see on the uh, SketchUp model that I have on the screen here too. Um, so yeah, four by fours, two by fours, and one by sixes. I just have them uh, brad nailed uh, around the perimeter here. And I really did the size uh, that I did so that it would properly hold the tree as well as make the board spacing uh, even so I didn't have to uh, rip any of them down. I did, however, have to rip down one uh, about two inch piece on the top portion here, but I put that in the middle and it's under the tree anyway, so you're not going to notice it. Uh, yeah, that basically wraps this up. Um, you can probably see just down here, uh, there is another smaller box underneath it. Uh, that was actually for my boss's Christmas tree, I think he said it was, that uh, he didn't need anymore. After I built this, they wanted it higher up yet, so they just put mine on top of his uh, down here. So, But yeah, it's been about three years and it's held up pretty good. I didn't do any uh, finishing on it, which I wish I would have at the time. Um, just because you can see a little bit of the sun stain on it and stuff like that, which makes it look uh, okay, but uh, it is kind of blotchy as well. So, yeah, but that's basically it for this one. I'll put a couple uh, pictures of the uh, SketchUp model up for you so you can see that. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good night.